Hey, so um, I got something really cool to show you. So what you're looking at right now is a transparent monitor. Not really, it's just, I just took a picture of the room and then I made it the wallpaper. Thank you, that's the whole video. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time. This is an idea I came up with a while ago. I use this display in the background of my Twitch streams to display things like my alerts, uh, a bit menu, a rotating gallery of all the different fan art that you guys have made for me. And today I wanted to explain how this transparent display works so that maybe you can add this to your own stream and then pretend like you came up with the idea all on your own. Don't worry, this wasn't my idea either. The idea originated from Albert Chang. He also had a vertical display in the background of his streams that would display Twitch chat. And I thought that was an amazing idea. So I thought, why don't we take that, but then just push it to the next level, you know? Make it something that blends seamlessly in the background of my stream. Maybe something that my viewers can interact with, have channel point reward animations show up, have it sync with different lighting effects. I'm having trouble with streamer bot action cooldowns. May I please ask for some advice or examples? I'm pretty sure I said- Just make it something that will impress all the new viewers in your stream, you know? Make him say, wow! That's, you know? Got an exciting new sponsor today. They are Fourth Wall. Fourth Wall is an all-in-one monetization platform that not only allows your followers to become members of your community, think like Twitch subscriptions, except like not through Twitch, but also a place where people can buy your merch. Alerts still pop up in your stream every time you get a new member, just like you're used to. People can gift the memberships. You can give discounts for merch for people that are members. You can even have your merch appear underneath your YouTube videos so that everybody sees it. Customize your merch page to look however you want. And best of all, you get to keep 95% of membership revenue, unlike other platforms. Twitch, I'm talking about Twitch. If you've ever seen MKBHD's merch store or Philip DeFranco's merch store, those are all powered by Fourth Wall, but you wouldn't know it because they're all using a custom domain name, which by the way, Fourth Wall supports. So try out Fourth Wall, the link will be down below. It's totally free to use. And if you use my link, you'll get $10, sample credit that you can use to put towards buying your own merch. So the centerpiece for this setup is this 24 inch touchscreen from Dell. So. Yes, this is a touchscreen. I'll put up the model number on screen. This is a normal monitor that you could attach to any PC. It just happens to also be touchscreen. And I haven't mounted to a floor stand that I just got from Amazon. I think it's from a company called Mount It. But what you don't see is I have a tiny little mini PC mounted to the back of the monitor that I got from Banggood. The PC is nothing special. I just needed something that runs Windows. Why Windows? Because this actually runs OBS. And this is what allows me to do anything I want with it. Because with OBS, I can put all my different alerts, my widgets, all the different graphics that I already know how to do because I'm like, I'm like the OBS guy. It's kind of my thing. Now this PC never actually streams or records anything. It just uses OBS so that I can display stuff on it. You might've also noticed that there's a stream deck mounted to the bottom of the monitor and it's mounted to it using a very sophisticated system of wood and Velcro and a nail that I shoved through one of the holes of the pole. Look, I was looking for mounts on Etsy and they cost me like $60. I'm not paying that. So Velcro and wood is just fine. Okay, so my OCD took over. So I ended up 3D printing a tripod mount and then clamping it using a super clamp that I got off AliExpress. And it looks way cleaner now. And I didn't have to pay $80 for a mount off of Etsy, just $800 for the 3D printer. But having this Stream Deck is great because I could build different scenes for displaying different bits of information in OBS. And then I could just change the scenes by pressing buttons on the Stream Deck, which is, isn't that sick? I think that's sick. Like, doesn't this bit menu look cool? Like, it's got a little sliver of the background here, so it kind of looks like it's floating. I think it's awesome. But the question I get asked the most is, how do I get that transparent background to look just so perfect and seamless? Like I said before, this is just an image of my background that I've carefully cut out and then used as the background inside of OBS. The steps for making the image are pretty straightforward, but the most important thing you need to do is make sure that the monitor is in the exact same position 
every time you stream. And so what I did was I put black tape on the ground as sort of a marker so I know where to position the monitor every time I stream. Then you just need to take two screenshots of your room. One of the screenshots will just be your clean background with the monitor not in the way. And then the second screenshot will be where you want to position your monitor when you're actually going to stream. You need the first screenshot so that you actually have an image to cut out. And you need the second screenshot so that you know which part of the screen that you need to cut out. I use Affinity Designer to do this. So I imported the second screenshot drew a rectangle around where the monitor was. Then I imported the first screenshot and I used that tiny rectangle as sort of like a cookie cutter to cut out the shape from the first screenshot. So what you're left with is this tiny little skewed image that I then took into Affinity Photo so that I could fix it up and make it look all straight. I just used the perspective tool so that each of the four corners are pinned to a normal looking rectangle. But yeah, that's about it. You just throw the image into OBS and then make a full screen projector of your OBS preview window. And uh, you got your transparent monitor. Now, a couple things to note, you'll probably have to adjust the brightness and colors of your monitor so that it looks the most natural. And you'll also have to go into your OBS settings and change your canvas size so that it is a vertical resolution. My screen is 1920 by 1080 turned on its side. So that's 1080 by 1920. At this point, it's pretty much a matter of you deciding what you want to display in the monitor. Maybe throw in your stream elements alerts, throw in your sub counts, your follow counts, all your different stats there. I created four different scenes. So first one shows Elgato because uh, they're a long-term sponsor of the channel. I'm not actually sure if I'm allowed to show this anymore because it's bigger than like the 3% of the screen size, but it's technically in the background of the stream. So it's not an overlay. So this should be like, my hand goes over, it should be legal, right? We also got this uh, meltdown timer. So on my stream, I have this thing where you can give me 112 bits and all the lights turn off. The lights start flashing red behind me. We call that a meltdown. And this is the time since the last meltdown. We have another page here that shows fan art. So if you're in my stream, go in the discord, you can submit fan art here. And then if I like it, we'll put it on the back monitor. And the last screen, I created this restaurant style menu but it's for bits. So it tells my viewers how many bits they need to give me to activate each of these different effects. And uh, this middle part here is actually just a separate image that I added a scroll filter to inside of OBS. And so that way it's like an infinitely scrolling menu that I can add as many things as I want to. I also added some of my own custom made widgets. For example, when one of my mods uses the shout out command, it actually pulls up a full screen image of the person that they shouted out. And whenever I get a hype train, there's also a widget that automatically fills up the entire screen with like a loading bar with the percentage so that viewers can actually see the hype train on the screen and not just above Twitch chat. Now, in addition to being able to control this screen from a stream deck, I also wanted to be able to control the screen from my main PC. So remember, this is an entirely separate PC from my main streaming PC. And I still wanted to be able to control the screen using like voice commands or maybe like Twitch chat commands. And I also wanted to create some channel point rewards that my viewers can activate to interact with the screen. Take that meltdown effect that we were talking about earlier. So that activates an OBS filter to shake my camera while at the same time activating the lights behind me to flash red and also adds this image of a uh, panicking elbow to the screen behind me. All of that is triggered using StreamerBot. So we've talked about StreamerBot a lot in this channel before, I'm sure you've heard of it, but StreamerBot not only can it connect to the OBS that is on my main PC, but you can actually connect it to a different OBS that's on an entirely different PC. And so what I did was I added another OBS connection to StreamerBot that connects over my local network to this separate PC. And what that means is I could create a channel point reward that not only turns on a video source in my main PC, but also can turn on a video source on this entirely separate PC. I also wanted the screen to automatically cycle through each of the different scenes that I've created so that I don't have to physically push the buttons on the stream deck for my viewers to see all my different creations. And to do that, 
I actually wrote my own code inside of StreamerBot. I'm not gonna get into the specifics of how everything works because you guys hate whenever I talk about code, but essentially I can type out in a little text document the scenes that I want it to cycle through with the number of seconds to stay on each scene. So for example, I want it to cycle through all my scenes, but only spend five seconds on this Elgato screen and then maybe 30 seconds on this bit menu screen so that my viewers actually have a chance to read what's on the menu. But that is the transparent monitor effect in OBS. Now you can stop asking me to make the video because I just made it. Guys, let me know if you're gonna add this to your own stream. Come up with something creative. Don't just copy exactly what I did because because that's lame. Take a video of it, share it with me on Twitter. So that way I look like I'm a big social media influencer that people actually listen to. You'd also post it on Discord. We've got a streamer showcase section where you could post anything you've made for your stream. And then it's a fun place to get inspiration. Guys, follow me on Twitch. Give me money on Patreon so I can spend it on things that I like uh, and also food for survival and things like that. Thanks guys, I'll see you guys later in like five minutes when I record the next video for next week. Um, see ya, bye.